welcome, welcome back. back to the Daily Brick. I'm Jeff. And I'm Brett. And we are just a couple of best friends bringing you the daily news. And commercials. Right. Got to have commercials. For sure. In fact, let's roll one right now. No way! Do you like sharks? Yes. Do you also like suits? Why are you recording Then me? you should get this new shark suit, complete with whale blubber to soften the joints and a nice neoprene texture to complement your sharky looks. If you buy just one shark suit, you will receive a stuffed dolphin. If you buy two shark suits, you will receive a giant crab. <coughs> Order yours today. Hooray. Welcome back. But first, I find it so weird that just three months ago, this show didn't even exist. I find it weird that we have the exact same hair. Oh, yes. Well, we do go to the same barber. Mr. Hartley, I think. Oh, yes, Mr. Hartley. Oh, what a big heart he has. It takes a lot of compassion to cut hair so well. Oh, yes. Sorry. We'll stay in Let's go to local news. A new species of animal was discovered today in the Dewdrop Forest. Some scientists say it could be a mix between the old woolly mammoth and some large, ugly beast. It is currently on display in the North Fork Zoo. Other news consists of the world's largest coin found in an underground mine. Some say it could be worth up to $100,000, making it the largest and most expensive coin in the world. Some sad news tonight. The man barber that most of you already know as Mr. Hartley had a heart attack yesterday. Paramedics were seen rushing to the scene and carrying him out on a stretcher. The good news is that he is currently recovering in a hospital and should be back to cutting hair in a few weeks. Poor Mr. Hartley. I guess his heart got a little too big. Even worse, who's gonna cut our hair? Well, I could cut it for you. Oh, really? Of course. What are friends for? Cutting hair, apparently. Well, I think that pretty much wraps things up. Any updates from weather? No. All right then. We'll, we'll see, see you next, next time, time on the Daily Brick.